Hello and welcome back to Snowrunner and our hard mode adventure, the challenge that is. So we are in the dam. We're currently in the Kodiak. We've just refueled our... Um, start again. <clears throat> Hello and welcome back to Snowrunner on our hard mode challenge and a challenge it is. Uh, we are in the dam, currently in the Kodiak. We've just refueled the Fleet Star and we are going to head out and attempt to complete threatening accident. Now, this is another one of those ones where huh, I, I, I'm never confident with. As many times as I've done it, always feel like I'm about to roll. And it's it's similar to when we had to collect up crates over in Black River. But what we need to do is to come down here. We've got to pick up a crate here. We have a crate here. We have another crate there, and then a crate here. And all four of those need to go back to the fuel station. I'm going to do them two at a time. I just think I've got to try and go less risk at the minute. As for the route. I'm trying to think about this. And I'm going to go. This might seem silly. I'm going to go for these two first. I'm going to take these two. And then we'll come back out. And we'll pick up the, the one here in the river. And then we can take this route through kind of work our way around and uh, grab that one and huh, we may risk going up through this way or we'll probably take the safer route and go back up there but that's 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 what we're going with so we'll uh, we'll uh, we'll get that crack we're in the fleet star it should be all right I've done it with the fleet star many times but like I often say it doesn't seem to matter how many times I've done something when we do it on this hard mode series, it goes wrong. It just seems to be that way. But we're going to get stuck in. And the beauty of this one is that once you complete threatening <laughs> accident, you then unlock unfortunate events, which is a similar job, but picking up down that side of the map. So. Depending on how well this goes, I would like to say we can get both of these done. You may be able to tell I am not overly confident on this. But we're going we're to give it a go. You know, we, we could always, I guess, have brought the uh, Chains of White Western Star over, put a bed on the back of that, or try to go down with the four slot train. But then I just think I'm, I'm more likely to either get stuck or tip it and roll it. Although the extra. The, um, the semi-trailer sometimes offers a little extra stability. It is more awkward to get up and down and through some of these narrow areas that we might have to try and get through. That's why I'm uh, thinking more along the lines of this one. But then once we've done these two jobs... If memory serves, and it often doesn't, but if memory serves, we're then pretty much done for the map jobs. And it's like the individual little contracts that are here. We should then be able to... I think we'll head into... I was having an hour about this before we got going. We'll probably go into Drummond Island. We have a lot of tasks to do there. We've got crates to go and find and pick up. Uh, we've got um, other uh, delivery loads that need to be recovered and, and returned. There, there's quite a bit going on. Now, old me would always go down here. So let's try that. We're going to try and go back to old me tactics. That's the thing. That's what we're trying to do now. Trying to avoid some of the, the cra crap. <laughs> oh, not so good. 
I've got four wheel on, yeah. Didn't feel very uh, four wheely. Fuel is going to be the, uh, the thing on this as well. Making sure I don't run out of fuel. Anyway, yeah, I was saying, um, yeah, Drummond, we need to go and build a bridge. We've got deliveries to do, um, a few other things that are on the map for us to, to work through. In all fairness, I think we need the scout in there still as well for some things. Oh, I down my gearbox. Not a good start. And then uh, I think Island Lakes. I mean, there's still a lot for us to do in Island Lakes. But the, the bridge isn't the way through and everything is sort of built up in there. There are a few out on the map jobs still to do. But then if we can get Drummond sort of cleared, then Island Lake actual contract contracts pass through into Drummond and lead that way. So we need to make sure that Drummond is ready. So we're going to go and grab the one on our right first, and we'll get the one that's over that way. Anyway, I hope you're all well. We're having a good week. I'm trying to think when this is going out. This might be a weekend. This, I think this is going to be a Tuesday one. So yeah, I hope you're having a good week. It's getting a lot closer now to me recording and releasing, so I'm trying, I need to try and find some time to get ahead again, that's how I like to be. But as I've mentioned about a million times now on all my content, the time to actually do it has sort of disappeared. have been enjoying the streams though, uh, for different reasons, some of those haven't been, a, been able to go ahead as well. So uh, those that are supporting the channel, supporting the content, I do appreciate it. I know it's a bit, a bit ad hoc and what have you at the moment. So I'll anchor out. On our stream series that we do over on Twitch, we've actually reached time here, so if you're interested in seeing me do some other things and, and get stressed out in the mud of time here, come and uh, join us on Twitch. I tried to go out go live on a Tuesday and a Thursday there. It's gone well. Let's see if that'll let me pack it. It will. It has been a little bit, a bit off with us at times. I don't know which of my controls is stuck on on my wheel or something, but something definitely is because that all keeps. Oh no! Don't you dare! We're, we're stuck in here. Oh, I'm in reverse. That's all right. I'm say. Instant panic. Now this one can be a little bit of a pain to get at. I'm hoping in this instance as well that the extra weight in the back is going to help us with a little bit of traction. It might not, but <laughs> so we can always hope. I've done this before and got so stuck in the mud that I've used the crane to just, just quite literally push myself along in the uh, in the riverbed. I'd like to do. Just 
try not to destroy these trees because we need them. I don't think they're destroyable ones, but... Oh, that one seems to have sort of dropped. We might have lost our way out. Okay. and stuff. Yeah, we've destroyed that tree and now we're going to struggle to get out. Oh, that's just out of reach. Okay, this is where it's going to get frustrating. Where is the White Western Star? And it's pretty knackered as well. That needs it needs repairing. Can we? Oh no! It's going to bury us. It's a shame you can't keep your wheels moving. It was the... the removing of the anchors that dropped us so deep that we couldn't really get out. So I'm hoping they're gonna... help me out here a little bit. I don't want to have to try and push myself along using using the crane arm I really don't so if you could put the, put the anchors away while still while still moving your wheels that'd be great We are so far away from that. All because we drove over the tip of that tree. I think rather than wasting more time, I'm better off. Just go and get something to pull us out. Frustrating indeed. Right. Where were, where were we going with this? Because it's not just there for no reason. Um, it must have had a purpose. I think I was going to repair it and head through into the huge me pop that was what that was but we're doing this now instead so we need to finish it uh, like I say I know I knew that by doing this that something would go wrong we'd get stuck there is still a, a wheel in the excuse me in the repair trailer if not we'll have to just go buy one there is a, a repair station around the back of the warehouse 
where our Kodiak is parked up. Just wasting fuel now by going back on something I'd already done. Some no wheels. We've still got a flat wheel, haven't we? Yeah. It says so here, but yeah. We have, and that's all our parts gone. So that service trailer is absolutely pointless now. That's nearly out of fuel as well. That's how quick I am getting through fuel. We still need a wheel or a tyre. going in a world of my own hopefully we can uh, repair it by just driving through and doing it and not having to because I don't use them very often we may have to bring that trailer through and restock it that would be a chore Please fix my truck. It's just resupply, isn't it? I want a wheel. That is annoying. Okay. If we had a spare tyre fitted, we'd be able to replenish that. We can't just fix. And if we go into our garage, obviously we'd have to pay two and a half grand to fix. I'd do a complete sort of recovery repair. And that's not what we need. So we are going to go back to the Kodiak. Which is crazily running out of fuel. Honestly, I have wasted so much fuel. So many parts, it's insane. Annoyingly, there is at least one other repair trailer on the map, but it's the other side of the map. It's not here, I don't think. We have got one here. It's got seven wheels in it. Seven tyres. This is completely empty. Right, let's just ditch this. This is not going to be the episode I thought it was. Again, this is going to be me driving around in a Kodiak. Sliding about. Just gonna find somewhere to dump this trailer. I tell you what, I'm not. I'm gonna buy a wheel. If it'll let me buy one wheel, I'm gonna buy it.
has it got to be all of it? Well, it hasn't got to be all of it. But wheels. Oh, just one? Okay. I'll take that. I'll take that. There we go. So we're going to detach. Try that. These are just the things you have to deal with <laughs> when you're the master of poor planning. Just the things you deal with. Oh, wrong one. There we go. Now I've got to make sure I don't get boosted stuck down there. Slidey back end. I was definitely overconfident in thinking that I might, <laughs> just even think I might be able to do both parts of this uh, collection in one day. I should be able to. Now, the White Western is a bit wider. Seems to be all right. Now, if this doesn't work, you may witness a grown man cry over a video game. <laughs> Ouch. 
how is it dark already? Like we've lost so much day. And I know many of you will be saying I should be using the uh, White Western Star for more things anyway. I know. The love for the Fleet Star is a hard thing to break. Especially when, like I say, I know it can do these things multiple times over. What time is it? Six. The day has gone so quick. This is so dull. Let's go get some roof lights or something. I'm sure we can get some roof lights. a brutal the plunk. And even though I've spent a crazy amount of money on them, from spending a bit of time over in Russia on my normal mode, it's got me thinking I might want to reevaluate evaluate my tyre usage. Because I've struggled there with what are supposed to be really good mud tyres, especially from the um, J1 
out the water it's packed. Now I don't think, don't think floaters are available for any of these trucks, but we might look into that at some point. I think we still have fuel up by the garage. I really hope so. I really hope so. Do not. No fuel trail up there at all. Fuel carrier trailer down there. Oh, that's it. We were going to move them, weren't we? Another one there. Ah, but the. the the Land Rover's up there, that's got fuel in it. I, th I think, I hope. <laughs> we could buy some, but we're we'll, we'll trying to avoid that where we can. Because we've got, you know, thousands of litres down at the other end of the map. So we'll try and get the other two. And these two are the supposedly the more challenging two because they're further apart. That we've got. We've got to get through that middle island to go get the, the third one. It's going to be a big one. The one up over here first. Also, I want to apologise. Throughout this whole series, I've been saying that you can do the contests three times, and I thought you could only do them three times. Um, but from watching back um, one of the episodes where I was doing the um, Pinewood delivery, I think it was, Pinewood Express, you can do them five times. I didn't know that. I thought it was three. Did, is that something that changed at some point? I felt the share hard mode is limited to three, hence why I've been saying since the very first episode that we've been doing it three times. Where's our junction? I say junction, where's our dirt track?
See if we can save a little bit of fuel. Just a rear wheel. I'll be mindful of that front right because that's the one we banged out a few times. Let's get ready to pop, I should imagine. Be mindful. We uh, we rolled on a rock or something when we came out here before. So, why is that? Those stuff, something, something somewhere. It just got dark. Oh, when we went past, we should have looked to see if there was uh, roof lights. I'm sure there are. That'll be alright. So this should be fun through the night. <laughs> Little island over there. Gonna be going across there, a little little dirt track way. We'll take us up and into that center island. And we'll try and weave our way through. Possibly risk a little bit of off-road with trees. And then probably have to come back through that middle section and up along the same route that we took with the others just because that far western side of the map we've rolled twice pretty much in the same spot and I don't want to do that with your um, pallets on the back That'll be that will be a, a tougher recovery than that I can mentally deal with at the minute. Does not want to turn, does it? Come on. There we go. Should be able to go through these. Right now, since it's dark, I do need to assess my route. So I want to go a 
put a couple. I'm going to start using the map markers just because we want to have to keep going into the map. Now we could, we could, in all fairness, oh, yeah, there's something wrong somewhere. One of my controls on my wheel is jammed. I think. Fun times. We'll just get to there, shall we? There is always, always something. Always something. start to get on a bit of a roll. Follow the track for now, I think. Rather than getting stuck in the woods in the dark, not really being able to see. I say that, and then I think, oh, actually, we can just sort of pop through there, can't we? I think we can. Oh, I think we can do that. We keep the try and keep the rock to our left. Oh, maybe not. There was a break. There's a break in the tree somewhere. Case of finding it. Oh. Next tree over. saved us a minute or two. It might not feel like it, what we've how that went, but that will have saved us a minute or two. And then preferably I'd be down. Here. Because as a rule this is just a bit nicer to drive on. Pickup is there anyway, right? Look at the wrong markers. There we go.
I don't you are drifting off. <laughs> oh, that's going to get right annoying. I don't know what that is that's triggering my controls to do stuff. So, like I said, you can. Oh. What? Give me a second. All right, let's see if that behaves now. So, you can try and come up here. Be brave and climb that. That isn't a nice track to try and go along. Not for me, anyway. Not my, my little fleet star. Uh, coming down is alright. Trying to go back up there, I'm not a fan of. So, we're going to try and get back across and up again. That's what we're going to try and do. And I'm sure many out there will be screaming again. Just do it. Take it. It's easy. Have you not seen how bad the easy stuff has gone for us so far on this, on this series? The easy stuff has been some of the hardest stuff, which is mental. do need to decide on is if I'm going to take risky shortcuts or not. So I think we can go we have a little look. I'm going to try and plot it in. And then we'll just put one there just to make sure I turn at the right time. Let's see if we can. And at least there, if we have a, rum, uh, uh, a roll and a tumble, I was going to say a rumble, we might have to rumble. If we have a roll or a tumble here, the white western isn't too far away to uh, upright us. Whereas if we're on that western track, then we've got to get all the way over there with it. And uh, we, we bounced and rolled at P16, so <laughs> that's every chance. The White Western will go over there as well. Plus, we've rolled the work. Actually, we've rolled three times over there. We, we rolled the White Western down there as well. Whilst picking up cargo. So if you can find the way through, like the, the track is n not to say never the best way, it's more often than not not the best way. Finding them off-road shortcuts is what it's all about. See if we can get a move on. See if we can deliver it before the sun comes up. I was wondering if we had engine damage or something. I feel like we are super slow, even in like, well, we're in low plus. But I feel like we're super slow. 
I think I've said this before. There's every chance that I've not got the best engine, maybe. That's something I'll look into once we've got this delivered. Get ourselves set and ready to do the next the next challenge. Because we're certainly not gonna be able to do both of them today. But hopefully then next time we can get out and we can do unexpected event or unfortunate event or whatever it is. Maybe after that we'll be able to head through into Drummond again and get to work there. We've got to get the White Western Star out from where it is as well now. More chores. I believe I was going to go and get a fuel trailer and bring it up to the top here. got some logistical stuff to do again honestly I've never had this much trouble it, it, it's crazy Fuel. I felt like we were doing the out of fuel thing. I feel like that stump it is hidden. I have hit that many times. It's proper naughty. There we go, job done. Three and a half grand, so they, they pay pretty good for that, and it's 340 XP, so they, they know it's a challenge. What that one? How much is petrol here? Just. Oh, not that. $2 a litre, that's pretty cheap. $8 a litre. In time here, that's what I'm told. 
just because we were talking about it whilst I was doing my uh, my live stream series. It costs more to buy 240 litres to fill up a Fleet Star than it does cost to um, transfer over a full trailer from map to map. It's insane. Because I often wonder, like, what is the... What's the big difference? Does it really work that much? Does it cost three grand to to transfer a truck? Like, surely it's not going to cost that much. It costs more than that just to buy, you know, 250 litres. That's bad. And here I am wasting it. <laughs> and we've got Alaska to get through yet. Right, I'm just going to check that this is tuned up to the best it can be. Because it's still got more jobs to do as well. So, engine. Oh, we haven't got it. That's in Alaska anyway. That's why we've not got it. Gearbox, ray suspension, tyres. I wanted to have a little look for something else, which is crazy, I know, because I keep spending money on them. Got the best. Yeah. I tell you, they have a little bit more grip down the side. Because we were looking at um, tyre walls the other day. I want to keep them because I'll stick them on something else rather than keep selling them and buying more. We'll keep them. So I've just spent the money that I earned and a little bit more. But hopefully that's going to help. There. Now, I'd like to have an extended winch. Uh, da, da, da. Now, what did I want on? I wanted to put on the roof. These beacons. Miscellaneous. Have we got? We have got extra lights. So, how about front bumper? From that will do it. Just want to check this. Heavy duty pipe. It's going to cost a grand. It's got more lights on it. Yeah, I see what I'm doing. Right. So we've spent. Wow, how did we just spend like 15 grand? No way. On. Oh yeah, the, the extended winch. That's where it went. Perhaps we need to go back and do them uh, extra extra jobbies. We've got three um, delivery contests here so we can do them a few times. I need that money. You can call me a cheat. I don't care. I need that money. Uh, where is... So far out of the blooming way. Need to move you for fuel, mate. Should have grabbed some on the way in. So we're going to. on the time. Would like to have done some repairs, but fiddling about with the truck and the trailer, I need to get moving. Got like 30 seconds till the end of the day. We're going to go break the suspension some more anyway. <laughs> you never know. Break the suspension a little bit might help us so we're not quite so well raised so we could be like <laughs> raised halfway because obviously it's raising the truck that, that adds to its tippiness its instability
be done about an extra minute, I think. What was that? Oh, that tiny little rock. Wow. Wow. So yeah, you come and collect the, the contract we just did. And then it's almost like it comes back. Because it's here again. But this time, the goods are elsewhere. Dyson Diesel here, you've got a situation. We lost a couple of barrels of fuel in the river. I'd appreciate it if you'd handle it quietly. I don't need any troubles, environmental uh, inquiries, understand? Except. And that is where we shall be leaving it. And we'll, uh, we'll look further into that next time out. And we're going to have to try and move some fuel around again. But we got one job done. It, you know, we got stuck, but <laughs> we dealt with it. It's a tough old journey, and it's a tough old journey. It's called hard mode for a reason. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Thank you very much. If you did, give a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day. Hopefully, I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.